Hey everybody, it's Michelle from the Florida Keys Bird and Butterfly Garden and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the giant swallowtail and learning a little bit more about this butterfly. So I have a citrus tree in my garden that came with the house which was really nice and it seems to attract a ton of giant swallowtails. This spring and summer I've seen so many so super exciting so I have a lot of photos of these butterflies and it's definitely one of my favorite it's really beautiful so let's learn a little bit more about this butterfly. So this butterfly is one of the largest in North America. You can identify it by its chocolate brown, kind of looks like black from afar with broad bands of yellow spots and from below it's a cream yellow color with brown and blue markings on the hind wing. So some of the favorite foods or flowers <laughs> of the giant swallowtail are milkweed, lantana, butterfly bush, and zinnias. Lantana is also a favorite of many other butterflies. Milkweed is also a favorite of the monarch. So if you have some milkweed, you can attract two for one. I always like a two for one. <laughs> I like when I plant something that has multiple um, uses. So it attracts multiple different kinds of wildlife, which is always the best. Um, but of course the monarch will feed on the milkweed with the larva, but the giant swallowtail does not. So the larva looks like a brownish yellow color with cream patches, kind of looks like a piece of bird poop. <laughs> it's not a pretty one, it looks kind of nasty, um, but that's what it looks like. And the larval host plants for the giant swallowtail are any type of citrus, lemon, orange, grapefruit, kumquat, key lime, wild lime, you know, any type of citrus. Hercules Club or Wafer Ash. This butterfly ranges all over Florida, so you can find it just about anywhere, and also much of the eastern United States, and is less common in the um, southwest or southern California. You're not going to find it as much over there. It typically stays close to wooded areas and close to the ground, which is true. I do see it you know, a lot in my yard I see this butterfly. So their habitat includes woodlands, pastures, forest edges, orange groves, and of course, your local backyards. It's gonna do um, its brood in late February and into November in northern parts of Florida, and it will brood year round in southern Florida. And its abundance is occasional. So a little bit more about the caterpillar itself. Sometimes they're called orange dogs because of their occurrence on orange trees. And it is one of the few butterflies that has a separate name for the caterpillar. How special. <laughs> the young caterpillars, like I said, look a lot like a wet bird poop. Um, and older caterpillars look like a dry bird, lizard, or some other type of critter poop. Which is, you know, it can make them a little bit harder to see than other caterpillars. I've been trying to find them on my big citrus tree and they've been really hard to find. Even though I know that a ton of eggs have been laid because I've seen it, um, I've seen them laying eggs on there. So, And of course one of the best reasons to look like a piece of poop is the fact that um, other animals and predators will not want to eat the bird poop. <laughs> so if that's what it thinks it is, then it can kind of go undetected. Uh, unlike some of the other really pretty bright colored butterflies. So before pupating, the caterpillar will empty its digestive tract. Oh my gosh, all of this talk about poop. <laughs> Swallowtail caterpillars tend to have a frass dump that lasts, uh, that is the last expelled excrement, excrement <laughs> of the caterpillar before it pupates. It's some kind of like runny pudding texture. Oh, it's so gross. Yeah, let's move on. So the osmetrium of the caterpillar um, is, a, is a red color. It's those long red antenna looking things. Um, and when the caterpillar is disturbed, it'll quickly bend backwards and extend the osmetrium. Uh, and it touches whatever it's touching. 
Gasmetrium has an odorous liquid on it, so, you know, another type of defense, which is good for the caterpillar. Volatile caterpillars prepare to pupate by attaching themselves and making a silk pad and a button on the object. And after two weeks or more, the butterfly will emerge. So I hope you liked this quick video um, with some facts about the giant swallowtail, how to attract more to your garden. Again, of course, if you plant a citrus tree, you're guaranteed almost to get giant swallowtails. I've had a ton of them this year, so I do recommend planting a citrus tree. Um, if you want to plant a citrus tree and you don't have enough money to buy one, you can actually sprout the seeds from the citrus tree, uh, from a citrus fruit. If you go to the grocery store and you buy one, I actually have some that I've sprouted. Um, and it's really not that hard. Um, the, I'll make a video next about that if you want to sprout your own and you can have your own citrus tree for your giant swallowtails. All right, everybody. Thanks. Have a great day.